Hey, what's good, YouTube? It's your boy Tom back once again, and uh, today I want to stop this confusion that God's people and so called Christians have that I'd be seen on YouTube and throughout videos and comments. Yeah, but here some people say when you listen to people and follow their teachings through their videos, they'll say you're following man and not God. But I'm gonna break this stuff down to you guys so people can get their facts straight and, o and open up their eyes to the truth and stop this confusion people have. So I want everyone to have their facts straight so people don't deceive each other and mislead each other. Yeah. Yeah, so just because you follow and listen to people's teaching does not mean you're following man and not God. Because people lead you to Christ and help you worship Him. <laughs> this would be called uh, discipleship in its truest form as you're walking alongside Christ's leaders as they teach the ways of the Lord with godly disciplines, you know. Because Jesus told us to love our neighbors as ourselves, and we're supposed to be family to each other, as we're supposed to support each other and listen to what people have to say, because we learn from each other's experiences, and we keep inspiring each other and amazing each other, since God's amazing. <laughs> The will of God is to speak truth to the world, preach the word, save souls from hell, and have God's back. So there's nothing wrong with being famous and having people follow people's preaching, because preaching, preaching and listening is what we're supposed to do. Because in the book of uh, Genesis chapter 12, verse 2, God said to Abraham that I'll make him famous and have him be a real blessing to people. Just as long as you don't let uh, riches and fame get to your head, or make you all full of yourself. When you when you gotta stay humble no matter what, because being humble is uh, one of the greatest feelings to to feel and have. As uh, even God will help you be humble, and since He's the most humble of all. Yeah, so Jesus uses leaders to lead people to Him, as we can see God work through their hearts, like Paul in the Bible. People followed His teachings as He led people to Christ, and He was a great author when I read His teachings. But yeah. People may have followed Paul, but they still follow God in his word, in spirit, and in truth, you know. But don't only listen to preachers, as I know there are some people you shouldn't listen to where they have false teachings. As you should always study the Bible and develop a relationship with God, as I read two pages of the Bible about every day, and I pray sometimes. So, But it's always good to limit your time on what you do. Now I also want to get people's facts straight on Jesus' skin color when he was walking the earth. You know, when you tell some people that Jesus was black, they'd be all like, it doesn't matter what color he was or what difference would that make if he was black because he loves all race equally. Well, scriptures tell us in Daniel chapter 7 verse 9 and Daniel chapter 5 verse 6 that he was black, as I quoted in one of my videos talking about Bible proof that he was black. And I even revealed it to one of my ex-friends, on Facebook, biblical proof that Jesus was black, and he still said, what difference would that make, as he loves all race equally? Well, if his race is in the Bible, then he wants us to know, because there's a scripture that says, Christ is coming back with the same appearance as when he left the earth. Yeah. And I also don't get why people can't accept what race he was, when you're going to see him all the time if you go to heaven. Like, come on. It's that easy to accept that he was black. And Dave Rose I know you say it doesn't matter what race he was because he loves us all equally. Well, the conception is, I say, uh, he was black. He was a black man who loves and died for all race. Like, don't get me wrong, I'm not racist. I'll accept Christ for any race he is, just like everybody else. Like, I mean, uh, if he was white, I would go with it. But it's a shame that they keep promoting many images of a false white Christ when he never looked like that. It's like some people are racist and want to make Christ white when you got to accept him for, for how he is because I'm all for the truth and sticking to Christ's side. So, you know, I uh, hope this information was real eye-opening and broke some confusion out there. So um, you guys take care and God bless. Peace.